Hi, my name is Panzer Kiel. This is my introductory video here on YouTube for my new channel here. I'm, my name is Panzer Kiel again. My channel will be about modeling and all aspects of modeling. I will show short how to's and small tutorials on all of the uh, modeling aspects. My favorite type of subject to model is armor in 135th scale and aircraft in 148th scale. So the channel will be mainly catered to that type of genre the 148 scale aircraft and also the 135th scale armor. Uh, I belong to IPMS Sacramento. I travel the western United States and compete. I've been modeling since I was six years old and I started with cars and quickly jumped into armor and aircraft and the rest is history. Uh, we'll be giving you a lot of updates. We'll be taking a lot of video and also uh, pictures at all the upcoming shows here on the West Coast and wherever I travel. I'm thinking of going to the Nationals here in uh, Colorado this year. Maybe, maybe not. My first video here is going to be about my little friend's Normandy diorama. Now this diorama depicts a Jag Panther from 654 Schwer Panzer, F, Schwer Jag Panzer F along, um, along with two other vehicles. Um, this this particular event was a, a Yak Panther and two Panthers heading into and near the St. Low area for a counterattack late in June, early August in Normandy. Uh, top of the Yak Panther, you'll see Fostrum Jaggers from the 3rd Fostrum Jagger Division. And you will also see in the, the diorama that there's two Heers Wehrmacht motorcycle uh, units traveling in the same direction, heading to the same point of rally to counterattack. Uh, the commander, the officer for the Fossum Jaggers is having a conversation with the officer for the motorcycle troops and uh, you know they were probably asking directions or what have you. And uh, the interesting thing about this diorama, I built this diorama in 1999. It was one of my first serious attempts at showcasing dioramas and competing. And um, I was at a show in 2004 called Weekend of Heroes in Ontario, California. There was an old German man signing Dragon's release of the false stream the, the tall figures that they were releasing, the, like the Ken and Barbie doll type of figures. And uh, one of them was modeled after him. And he saw my diorama and he asked me to come over in German. I speak a little bit of German. I worked in the automotive industry and I lived in Germany for a year. I was in Berlin when the wall came down. I lived in Germany in 1989. I worked at Porsche. I speak three languages, English, Spanish, German, and some French. I am Mexican, American, born in Los Angeles, relocated here to Sacramento. But anyway, this man calls me over and he says, where did you see this scene? And he was pointing to my diorama. And I told him, I saw it in the great book, uh, Germany's Paratrooper uh, by MB Publishing, and also a couple of tank books. I think it was Germany's Panther Tank and, and some other that I saw the pictures. And it inspired me to do this diorama. At which point he tells me, well, guess what? I'm one of the troops that's sitting, or I'm one of the troops that's riding on top of the Yag Panther, which my eyes opened up like basketballs. And I asked him, because since the unveiling of this diorama, there has always been controversy. Every show, the judges think that they are you know, professionals and that they know more than anybody else. And let me tell you, 90% of the judges out there don't know anything. It's all on good instinct what they choose. They they know in no accuracy. They don't know any of that on unit colors and what have you. And they would always argue to me that the hatches were not off-white, that they could never be off-white because they would get, I, uh, you know, ground attack. Now, from 10,000 feet, two-foot hatches look like a speck of sand so that's not going to give the vehicle away but and nevertheless i asked him and i said take a look at the diorama and according to your memory is the diorama 100 percent accurate and he told me according to my memory your diorama is 150 percent accurate i told him even the white hatches on the vehicle he goes even the white hatches on the vehicle i was there they were off white and the rest is history i asked him well can you do me a favor can you authenticate this diorama to be authentic to your knowledge? And by doing so, I said, can you autograph it? Which he did, and I'm going to show you where he autographed it. He autographed 
my diorama and put his unit credentials on it. Now, what are the chances that you build a subject, a dragon model or anything, and you end up someday actually meeting the actual person that was involved with that subject? Very nil. He also autographed my Fosterum Jagger book. Now, here are the pictures to the diorama and to the Fosterum Jagger book. I'll be right back. As you can see, here's my Fosterum Jagger book, and if you look right in the middle where the Fosterum Jaggers are running, you can see Gunther Meyer's signature. That was the old man's name, Sergeant Gunther Meyer of the 3rd Fosterum Jagger Division. And he signed this book here, and he also signed it on the inside, and he put his credentials right in the book, as you can see here. And it is the Fosterum Jagger book, Germany's Paratroopers. There is his credentials, Sergeant Gunther Meyer, 3rd Fosterum Jagger Division. I also have an information pamphlet that I use whenever I'm competing and uh, it has the information on the vehicle and what I did for it, with it and it has a picture of Gunther Meyer, that's the man there, 3rd Fosterum Jagger Division, it has a little bit of history of him and how we came to meet each other, it has the picture that I used to inspire me for the diorama. And it has what modifications I did. This diorama was built for uh, 2000's Tamiyacon. So it employed nothing but Tamiya models. And I actually used the old 70's kit of the Yak Panther to show my modeling skill. And if you've ever competed at Tamiyacon, you'll understand that Mr. Tamiya could care less <laughs> about modeling skill. And it's like whatever he's feeling that day is what he's going to choose. Whether it's better work than yours or not, which is exactly what happened to me. Nevertheless, I competed and had a lot of fun. I wish the Miyakon was still around. Anyway, let's proceed with this video. now is the diorama in my bookcase and I named it little friends because of the amount of small friends that were riding on top of the armored vehicle to support it and as you can if you can see right left of the title plate is Gunther Meyer's signature his credentials running all along the bottom of the plate in signature form and that is the authentication by Sergeant Gunther Meyer of the 3rd Fosterum Jagger Division, who is one of the guys on top of that vehicle there. You're going to get better pictures in the video.
Again, this is the first in the series of videos that will be uploaded within the next couple of days. This is my introductory video, my Normandy Third Foster Jäger diorama. The next video I'm going to do is going to be a compilation of all of my work so far that I still possess. A lot of it has been sold, given, um, donated to museums, blah, 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 what have you. I won't go into a long thing. Um, and uh, it, the next video will feature most of my work and it will feature the latest diorama I just finished a couple of days ago. This diorama is of the 2nd SS Panzer Division Das Reich in a battle at Jefremovka, which they conducted in Nihai Mud, and it is a Martyr III, and it is not to me as Martyr III, it is Maquette's Martyr III. Again, I wanted to show my modeling skill. It is an awful kit. I won't build any more awful kits anymore. I've got Tamiyas and Dragons and good stuff, and that's what I'm going to dedicate myself to do. A little bit of my uh, workshop here. This is my book case with all my literature, and then you can see some of the models in the corner there. Uh, this is my uh, work area here, my desks and what have you. And again, I belong to IPMS OC, I mean IPMS Sacramento. And I'm going to be starting a new club here in the Sacramento area with nothing but full-on demonstrations. It's called California Model Workshop. You can also see my work at armorama.com, which I put the link below. And uh, my nickname there is Panzerkeel. So if you want to see my, more, more of my stuff in detail, go to armorama.com and look up Panzerkeel and join. It's a modeling venue for modelers from around the world to showcase their stuff. Again, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the videos. Look forward to hearing from you. Drop me a line. If you have any questions or need any advice, drop me a line and I'll be more than happy to help you. Again, Panzer Keel out. Happy modeling. We'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.